You're watching News 8 on WROC. Pete Abley from the Erie Canal Boat Company is with us now. Pete, great to have you here with us. Well, thank you, Allie. It's great to be here. So July is Disability Pride Month, and the Erie Canal Boat Company is working with other organizations to make the canalways accessible to all this summer. Tell me about some of your partnerships. Oh, one of our major partnerships we were is Rochester Accessible Adventures. They're a nonprofit that um, is a wonderful resource for people with disabilities, and we really work with them for their um, summer recreation, doing kayaking and biking along the canal trail and the canal um, in that between Buffalo and Syracuse, it's one of the prime locations in the world for adaptive paddling and cycling because everything is very controlled. The waterway is consistent. The canal path is, in most cases, off the road. So it's a very safe and secure place for people to learn how to kayak and bike and families to just get together and enjoy themselves. Talking about some of those adaptive activities, can you tell me um, a few examples of those and where families can uh, get their hands on some of those activities? Well, actually, we have been doing adaptive path cycling here in the village of Fairport for about 13 or 14 years. And we have numerous equipment that people can access um, on a daily basis during the summer, of course, weather permitting. Um, but there's also baseball, softball, and things like pickleball and tennis and golf that people in the area can access through Rochester Accessible Adventures. Our programs are more set to not do them in groups, but to have the individuals go out with their family and friends and really enjoy the canal and the canal trail. And my last question for you, why is it important we offer activities like these that are accessible to everyone? Well, I will say that Fairport's been a very welcoming community and, and it's, uh, it's a wonderful thing to hear the people mention as you're working with people with disabilities and putting them on the various bicycles and kayaks and listening to say how what a wonderful thing we're doing to uh, help promote recreational activities and really integrating them into everyday life. It's very important. Pete, thank you so much for your time. We'll have much more information about these accessible rec activities for you over at rochesterfirst.com. Very cool, Alex.